Baron Cross is an American Christian metal band formed in Los Angeles in 1983. We are Baron Cross, we're from Los Angeles, California. They are recognized as one of the cutting edge pioneering bands in the genre of Christian metal, blending heavy metal music that I personally think has a vibe that sounds a lot like Iron Maiden at times with a message that absolutely honors and glorifies Jesus Christ. We have one more song for you. This is the title track from our first album. It's called Rock for the King. The band released six amazing albums between the years of 1986 and 1994. And in this video, I am thrilled to share with you two amazing Baron Cross stories. Rocking you up for Jesus Christ with classic style hard rock music and practical Bible teaching. First, the amazing testimony of Baron Cross bassist Jim Laverty. He's going to share with us how one night at a party, Jesus Christ just reached out and called him out of his old life of brokenness and sin in this world and into a brand new life of following and serving him. And then straight from the lips of Baron Cross guitarist Ray Paris and Jim Laverty, you're going to hear the amazing story of how Baron Cross became a band. Rocking you up for Jesus Christ with classic style hard rock music and practical Bible teaching. All right, first up, here is Baron Cross bassist Jim Laverty sharing his testimony of how one night at a party, Jesus Christ reached out and called him into a brand new life. I went to college for about a year, hated every minute of it. And I remember I was at a party, I was drinking. I was with a girl I shouldn't have been with. And I remember very clearly, I went to use the restroom. And when I was done, I looked in the mirror and all of a sudden I felt the Lord speak to me, what are you doing? And I just felt either just fear or something just came over me. And I just felt like the Lord just told me, what are you doing with your life? You need to change the direction and the course of your life because I've got a plan for you that doesn't include this lifestyle. And man, I was just like, you know, just, I felt like I just got instantly sober. I went out of the restroom and I told the girl I was with, I'm going to bring you home. I drove her home and I said, I'm not going to see you anymore. And I just cut off contact with all my part of your friends. And it wasn't even more than a, you know, a few weeks later that we were hosting Bible study with my friends at my mom and dad's house. And so it was a very surreal, but very interesting time in my life when God got a hold of me. And it really wasn't very long after that, that I met Mike Lee and got introduced to Ray and Steve. You know what I love about that story is its simplicity and the fact that it's just right down the middle of the lane of what every genuine testimony I've ever heard sounds like. When you share your testimony, the real element that makes it powerful is the fact that Christ was present in that. It's not like Jesus had to use some great argument to convince him intellectually to come follow me. When Jim heard the voice of Christ and in his heart, he knew that it was Christ. Jesus just said, come follow me, and he did. Matthew. Matthew, son of Alphaeus. Yes. Follow me. Me? <laughs> yes, you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. What are you doing? You want me to join you? Keep moving, street preacher. Do you have any idea what this guy's done? Do you even know him? Yes. Listen, I said to... What are you doing? Where do you think you're going? Guys? Let me go. Have you lost your mind? You have money. Quintus protects you. No Jew lives as good as you. You're gonna throw it all away. Yes. Think about your testimony, man. You know, when the Lord knocked on the door of your heart and he said, come home, and you knew it was him, it was like, 
where else am I going to go? Of course, I'm going to follow him. And that's also why often over the years when I've prayed for someone that needs to know the Lord, that I'm, I'm longing to know the Lord, part of what I pray is, Lord, speak to them in that way that only you know how to do so that when they hear your voice, they just know it's you. And it just shatters all their resistance, and they just turn and follow. Next up, Baron Cross guitarist Ray Paris, along with Jim Laverty, are going to share with us the story of how Baron Cross became a band. But first, dude, if you're enjoying this video, and I hope that you are, okay, take one second, do me a favor, reach down and click the like button. In doing that, that supports this channel in a really awesome way because every like kind of says to the YouTube algorithm, this video's worth sharing with other people who love this kind of content. That would be awesome. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on that right now, hit that bell notification so that you don't miss any more future videos. I was looking for a band, so I had an ad. There used to be this paper called The Recycler. <laughs> and, uh, you know, now it's all online, but it was a newspaper that, you know, you sold stuff, you sold guitars and tires and cars, and you could look for bands. And, um, you know, I was listening, you know, I got saved and I was listening to the same stuff and, you know, still going to Bible study. And one night, you know, the, one of the leaders said, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta feed on something different than all this stuff. And I said, well, what is there? And uh, I won't name bands, but there's, you know, nothing compared to what I was listening to. You know, I was a Deep Purple fan. I loved Richie Blackmore and I loved Iron Maiden and I loved Judas Priest. And there was just nothing there. And uh, I went back and I said, look, you know, Phil Keggy the best guitar player in the world, but he is not heavy metal. And I know you think he is, but he's not. <laughs> and she said, why don't you just form a band that you want to do? And that was it. So I put that in the in an ad in and I, I got some guy, some singer who found Steve and, uh, you know, through course of time, we had a few different singers, which we all ousted until Steve met Mike. He calls me one day out of the blue. I didn't talk to Steve in a few months and he goes, listen to this. And he holds the phone up and makes Mike sing in the phone. <laughs> and I thought, you know, first of all, I thought this is strange. And then I thought, this guy's good. And uh, so we got together and met and that's where it all started. You know, one of the, if I, if I might just tag on to something that Ray was saying, when I met Mike, uh, I met Mike at church at, uh, at Grace Community, John MacArthur's church of all places. And he said, we're looking for a bass player. And I basically kind of just started playing. And he invited me to come to a rehearsal just to try out. And it was very interesting for me because when I got there, we did very little playing and more on the lines of talking and finding out where I was coming from and where they were coming from. And I thought that was really cool because it was like they wanted to get to know me as a person first before we start strapping on our guitars and start playing. And through the years, Ray's one of my best friends in the world, and he still is. And I remember him leading that conversation. And I thought to myself, you know, I can be a part of this because look at how serious the social connection is and the spiritual connection. If you love Christian metal, and specifically if you love Baron Cross Christian metal, I've handpicked a couple videos over here that I think you're really gonna enjoy. All right, check them out. Leave your comments down below. Love to interact with you. And until next time, Keep your eyes on Jesus and I'll catch you in the next video.